What's going on guys? Welcome to the Scroll Stopping Show, episode one. We're gonna be reviewing some ads with you guys. We wanna keep this really casual. We make about 2,500 video ads a year. So out of that, we've learned a lot about what works, what doesn't work, what to look out for when you're making ads as an e-commerce brand, and what you should go for when you're making your ads. So we're gonna dive into quite a few today, why we like them, what we don't like about them, what we would have changed, as well as the framework that makes them so successful. So today as our guest, we've got someone from our very own creative team, Ron. So Ron's gonna be walking through some of these ads today with me. He helped pick these out. We've hand selected what we think are gonna be a good spread of ads that are gonna show a couple different frameworks that we like, that we don't like, et cetera. So let's dive in. So first up from SandCloud, let's give it a play. Definitely very visually interesting, and I think they did a good job at kind of showcasing all the features really quickly and really simply. There's not too often you see ads for towels. Any doubt ahead of like a why is this a towel ad, you cleared up pretty quickly. I really like this one. I think this perfect example of a use case ad just showing all of the different places especially that kind of natural transition almost like a TikTok like transition which mm -hmm. is obviously trending right now that reminds me of like those disappearing dog videos where you like throw mm -hmm. up the towel and your your dog thinks you are like gone into the abyss or the upside down i think it was seamless enough where you know visually it was appealing and then yeah it just kind of as it's doing that talking about the copy obviously they're using an attractive model that's going to help get people to stop a little bit one thing i noticed is very bright colors like if yeah, they, it's a very vibrant ad. Pretty much every scene in this uh, was really showcasing not only the colors of the environment, but also the towels themselves. <laughs> and then the next shot is transitioning with, for one, really bright, bold blue copy, mm -hmm. which I think grabs attention. Almost has that TikTok feel. You can tell it was done in post because it just doesn't match exactly right, but gives you enough of the impression of like TikTok. Yellow, you know, blanket, colorful outfit, really green grass. I mean, I think... Mm -hmm. They just really like hit it out of good, the park with the colors. Good color choices for sure, yeah. And then, you know, towards the end, adding in a little bit of social proof. Uh, this is something you don't see in a lot of use case videos, but I think mm -hmm. this rapport, this, you know, hey, we have over 500,000 customers that are satisfied. Review section doesn't take away from the pacing of it at all either. It's, no. It just feels like seamless. Like you feel, oh, now yeah. I just realized we're Nice transition on yeah. stars. I always think that does really good well. Good animation. Really, when it comes down to scroll stopping, the hook and the visual aspect of your very first shot is probably the most important. They did both of those really well with, uh, you know, for one, a towel floating in a pool. It's mm. very like, what's going on here? I want to learn more about this. Also, uh, you know, blonde curl in a bikini swimming under the towel. That's going to grab yeah, attention. I mean, even even the opening frame is like a, obviously the, the text will point you to like, can your towel do this? And you don't really have too much comparison about a towel. Um, so just seeing a towel float, that opening frame, not even just the whole shot, just the frame is enough. Honestly, my impression, I would definitely stop scrolling on this. So is this a scroll stopper for you? Oh yeah, huh? absolutely. Okay. So next up, uh, we're gonna check out an ad by Swabs. Uh, looks like a shoe company, maybe similar to like an Allbirds. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, give them a play. See, that, that, this is, this is <laughs> proof of targeting ads. I am very specific about what shoes I wear to the airport for the sake of going through security. So I saw a shoe and I saw one less thing to worry about in the airport and I was like, all right, I guess I'll watch the whole thing. Another use case ad, really more a day in the life. Like I think this, yeah. I mean, it shows the different use cases of the product, but more than anything, it's showing here is how I use this shoe mm -hmm. all throughout my day. Uh, it's a tried and true framework that's been around for you know years in the performance video space. So uh, I think they put a nice twist on it, gave it that UGC feel in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. A very strong visual hook. They're twisting a shoe. I do think that kind of um, boomerang hmm. goes on a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. And I, if, if for a second, I was thinking the whole ad was gonna be that boomerang just because of hmm. the way 
you know, lingered for probably one, one too many loops there. Again, ideal hooks are gonna be in that two to three second range, then move to the next shot and start to introduce the mm -hmm. product, start to talk about, you know, the features and the benefits. Um, so at least they're introducing the product slightly, but it is a kind of drawn out shot. I think they kind of get away with this because they're using dynamic copy here. So they're saying one less thing to worry about at the airport, mm -hmm. on the trip, at home. So they're changing something about the video. Yeah, I will say though, I, cause I watched this a few times at this point, um, it took me a few times to notice that the copy was changing because of the, at the shoe. I was looking at the shoe, yeah. it looped, it kept looping, and it was like, you know, it's visually interesting, but it kind of was too, I couldn't focus on the copy, and the copy doesn't change a lot. Hmm. So I think, I like I saw, that. I saw airport, and then I started watching the loop, and then I didn't That's notice it changed to at home, at, you know, wherever you're going. Definitely a good example of when multivariate testing is gonna be key, mm -hmm. like I think testing this shot, testing a shot with just one of those lines of copy against this longer shot with three you know, changes in the copy mm -hmm. against another shot of the shoe doing something with a single line of copy is gonna be a perfect yeah. you know, A-B yeah. test to do your hooks with. And you know, on that note, again, multivariate test as many hooks as you possibly <clears throat> can. You wanna make sure you're testing you know, this shot against this copy, against this copy, against this shot. Um, you know, I think you just can't go wrong when you're testing hooks yeah. and it works, but they I agree. They tested all three of them in one video. Yeah, they tried a little too much, but yeah, I, I think the, the video flows well the pacing's really nice the shots are you know yeah. super because the red, clean. Once, once it cuts to that next part yeah it flows flipped. really well i just think the opening loop is a little bit too long because focused on one copy point Agreed. and then moved on but i do like the rest of it yeah the rest of it flows nice shows a male shows a female shows it outside shows it mm -hmm. inside really again that all day effect like you're kind of you mm -hmm. know you can take these things all day which is the day in the life concept we're talking about. How can you take the product all throughout your day? So yeah, I think they did good. I would probably stop, you know, I'd say it's a, mm -hmm. it's a good scroll stopper just from the visual hook. Not my favorite that I've ever seen, but I would stop. Uh, I would say maybe, cause I was saying the loop goes on long enough to where I thought that would have been the whole video. And I would have just thought, okay, I saw the whole thing. I, I could have yeah. scrolled past it, you know? We'll call it a, we'll call it a scroll stopper though. So next up, we've got one from Fabletics. A lot of popularity in recent years. This brand's mm -hmm. definitely taken off. But yeah, let's give it a play and, and see what we think. Hook calling out a different company is definitely enough to get somebody's attention. So saying it's like that, but not expensive, is really good copy for yeah. somebody who's like kind of on the fence for these like athletic wear type of thing. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I like calling out the competitor. You know, obviously that's a gray area sometimes from a legal perspective. You know, take your own risk when you're going to put, mm -hmm. you know, a competitor's name in your ads. But uh, I think it worked well that they used a really bold white font slightly backlit with some mm. black on top of some bright orange with a dude with a chiseled eight pack. Definitely grabs your attention. Um, I think where they transition after this is personally where I start to lose a little bit of interest. Um, you know, it goes from this mm -hmm. very uh, visually appealing hook straight into this like triple shot that has a video on top mm -hmm. and two texts on the bottom. And I think this collage style shot has worked in the past. I don't know if it gets conversion as well now, so I don't think I would click, but I probably would stop and get to this yeah. point and then realize like this is an ad, there's way too much going on here. I don't yeah. want to read all this. There's too much, like, too much text, too much numbers. This like new VIP online offer is like really small. It's got to be like font size six, and it yeah. just like really feels like an ad at this point. Yeah. And I'm sure there's different <laughs> colors of this, but I'm they sure. only yeah. showed the orange. Exactly. And yeah. it kind of makes the shots look way too similar. They're different framings and everything, but when it's all going on at once, you're mm -hmm. just kind of focused. I kind of just focus on the plus in mm -hmm. between the two for 24 and the 70% off. It's That's hard to focus point. on anything else because it just looks like orange surrounding the text. I, I like it. I think I would have loved to see a little more like diversity in the colors here. Yeah. Um, they've got some good diversity in the talent, which is always good. I just like, I think for one, it's just a confusing shot on the bottom left. I, I don't understand what they're showing. Yeah. Maybe that's and a stretchy it, it blue. Lingers. Just like is there the whole time. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. I think this ad would have performed a lot better personally if they just stuck with what was up top there and added a couple lines of copy on top. But uh, I wouldn't consider this a scroll stopper uh, overall. So. Personally, I'm gonna give it a no. Yeah, I'd say no. Hook was good. If you're gonna take any notes, the mm -hmm. hook was solid, but you know, it kinda kinda lost me after that point. 
Uh, so next up we've got True Classic, a uh, very well-known uh, men's t-shirt brand that has grown in popularity. Uh, and it looks like they're gonna be adopting a three reasons why framework, which is a, uh, I think this is a slightly higher produced spin on obviously the TikTok trending framework of like, mm -hmm. hey, we're gonna do a UGC style three reasons why they took this a step further and they're doing this uh, in a, almost a studio setting. So yeah. let's give it a play. Good shots. Mm -hmm. They showed uh, pretty much everything they needed to to convince somebody who was like me, who uh, gets their ads in my email every day, yeah. um, to maybe go to the website. I really liked this one. I think they start with a pretty good side by side mm -hmm. hook, in my mm -hmm. opinion. They're desaturating that left side classic, just, you know, side by side bit. move to just show how you know this one's a little bit less fun from a vividness perspective. And our product, you know, you're gonna look tanner, you're gonna look better, etc. I think the model they used is good, showing a you know slightly older uh, demographic, you know, salt and pepper, dilfy kind of look. I think <laughs> is gonna sell some people. So um, yeah, yeah. I, I liked the hook. I liked how they started it with the three reasons why you know i'd be curious to see how this performs because typically again when you see a three reasons why video mm -hmm. it's going to be very organic style you're going to have the captions on top of the video it's going to look like TikTok style captions mm -hmm. they took a slightly more produced approach with the headline caption on top of the video so hard to tell how this actually performs i mean i really like it i think they again have just some really clean shots front seats to the gun show gotta love it dude's got some tats he's having a good time he's like you know boxes yeah, it's fun he's probably never thrown a yeah. punch in his life but you know he's, he, he's he learned for today he learned for today and he's got yeah. tats so i don't know yeah. he, he might have like i was saying the font uh looks good on white but i feel like they could have done something to make it pop because there's a few shots in yeah. front of a white t-shirt with white text mm. a little hard to read a little harder i but like I do, the font I, but yeah good font choices good size like everything it's framed well I think Nothing the, looks the too pacing big, is really small. good. The music is solid, mm -hmm. damn good. Like they just have fun, you know, engaging. Yeah. I feel like copy for that demographic that they're going after. Um, and you gotta love when the logo is behind. Yeah, a little masking action. Yeah, gotta gotta love that. Always so. looks good. Always looks good. I'd be curious on the performance of it. I'd love to see how this actually compares to something a little more organic. You know, if we were going to be doing this, we'd probably have the same talent also film something on an iPhone and maybe, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, talk to the camera, we cut it up a little more TikTok style with the same shots, same copy, same captions, but make it seem yeah. a little less produced and uh, and test the two side by side. I'd, I'd consider this a scroll stopper. A scroll stopper for you too. Scroll stopper. Next up, we've got one from Bird Dogs. Let's check it out. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her. It's a good one. I feel like bird dogs, they don't miss when it comes to like their, their skit content. Uh, they've always crushed it in my opinion. I don't know who's producing their content, but shout out you guys are doing yeah, a good job with your, your humor writing. Um, and it didn't start out like a comedic start, thing. It just yeah. seemed like it was going to be, I mean, a very nice, but very run of the mill. Like look I mean, at actually, these pants and here's some, some text, but then it cuts to this shot and I'm like, that feels yeah. different. And I've, then it hits them with, yeah, that's great. That's good. I've actually seen them, I want to say chop up some variations of this one before too. Like, mm -hmm. I've seen them use this part of the video forward where it's like, you know, the cake and surprise and knocks someone out in the ambulance, which is hilarious, with different intros to the video as well. So okay. I think they've done a little bit of multivariate testing and maybe this yeah. one's doing really well for them. But to that point too, the earlier part of the video could also be a good standalone out in my opinion. Like yeah, just exactly. that's, the, that's what I thought was going to be at From first. a use case perspective. It was good. It was really nice looking. The background music too. Um, and it just like, yeah, the text pops a little bit as the scene changes, like perfect use case ad that then turns into a skit. So mm -hmm. really interesting hybrid between these two again use case showing off the various pants and various environments and then you know just kind of catches you off guard with this skit and i think it just as a customer sells you on the brand like you're buying yeah. into this like fun young bro 
you know, like, type brand. Yeah, that that's an ad that like you you might stay for the sweatpants, mm -hmm. but when you get to that part, you're like, okay, I like this brand. Let me just let yeah. me see what else they have in their catalog, and then I you're think, dedicated. I, I think I've clicked on one of their ads like this before too. So I've not only yeah. stopped, but I would definitely click on this. And I'll stop again. I'll stop yeah. again. If I see it again, I'm gonna be curious now because I'm gonna be like, are they gonna knock the guy out? Something happened. Does the plot mm -hmm. change? You never know. Well, that's all we got for you guys today. Uh, you know, I think these are some great ads we looked through, some things we would have changed for sure, some things we loved. Mm -hmm. Hopefully lots of takeaways in terms of how you're crafting your ads as you're watching the show. If you have any ads of your own brand you want us to review, definitely send them in to us. You know, hit me up on Instagram, Justin Reels, or you know, you can send them to Vaxa Digital. Mm -hmm. You can leave, leave a comment down here with a link. Yeah, leave a comment, leave a link. We will watch everything you send us and bring them onto the show and gladly rip on you if we don't like your ad. <laughs> you have um, terrible taste in ads. You have terrible taste in ads. We will let you know to you know, <laughs> choose a new career path or just come hire us. Uh, but that being said, we had a great time today, Ron. Thanks yeah. for hopping on and, sure and giving your two cents on things. And well, we'll see you next time for uh, episode two of the Scroll Stopping Show. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. What he said. All right, guys, so if you liked what you saw today, make sure you subscribe and click that little bell to turn on notifications so you know when the next episode, episode two of the Scroll Stopping Show drops. Also, we would love if you give us a follow on Instagram at Vaxa Digital, as well as my personal IG at Justin Reels if you want to see more of this video content. So that being said, guys. Bye. Bye.